Today on The Legends of the Past, we discuss mead and the various properties thereof. Mead is still consumed today at various Renaissance festivals and Woodstock events. Woodstock and other debaucherous affairs of the heart. It can also be found in certain areas of the Burning Man Festival. In certain areas of the country where, on special occasion, a man is burned to death. You may have also noticed the consumption of mead in the film The Wicker Man starring Christopher Lee or the remake thereof starring Nicolas Cage. And uh, to begin my to begin our lesson, our journey today on mead, the second stanza praises an individual hero. In might a man, a youth in years of boisterous valor, swift long mane steeds under the thigh of a handsome youth man, quicker to a field of blood than to a wedding, quicker to the raven's feast than to a burial. A beloved friend was Ye Wayne. It is wrong that he is beneath a cairn. It is a sad wonder to me in what land Morrow's only son was slain. Other stanzas praise the host. For example, number 13. Men went to Catraeth at morn. Their high spirits lessened their lifespan. They drank mead, gold and sweet. In staring their limbs with one another, naked and glistening, for a year the minstrels were merry, read their swords, let the blades and the bloods flow, remain uncleansed with the blood of enemies, white shields and four-sided spearheads, and the sputum of many men, before men dog men fares men. Mead was often consumed by the elders of the town upon the victorious victory at in battle. After much blood was spilled, mead was quaffed by the elders as it trickled through their lu- flu- voluptuous graybeards. It was also consumed and quaffed in a similar fashion by the young skunts and their beaded red beards. Young skunts did celebrate this this fiery feast with a fiery fire of bonfires uh, and drinking mead in the halls whilst exchanging secrets and boasting of spoils of the war. Uh, uh. The golden treat would often allow young skunts to perceive a vision of the goddess Skarskabosa she would come upon them and bring to light any beast that they were knowing carnally at the time. It's told in rhyme, both in rhyme and internal rhyme, and a number of stanzas have been written about this. For example, Queer a aeth gutrath ganvar, which loosely translated means men went to katraeth at dawn, more importantly, is the, is the ballad of Grunt, the young skunt who sallied forth and sacked the town of Barsheth. In Barsheth, he, got, he received for himself a prize of three prize goats. He fed black ravens on the rampart of a fortress. Though he was no Arthur, among the powerful ones in battle, in the front rank, Guardrujur was a palisade. It was told that during the day the blood of his enemies did drip and during the night the bodily fluids of sensuality was dripped by uh, his, his efforts. The consumption of mead was also called upon in the World of Warcraft fanfic known as The Lust for Power. Here is an excerpt therefrom. The sun shone bright upon the city of Silvermoon, the glorious capital of the High Elves. The streets were bustling with activity, and Alistar Theronis was little more than a face in the crowd. The High Elf stood resolutely, taller than most, his youthful appearance betrayed by his eyes, 
in which could be seen the tired look of one who witnessed the passing of many years, the blood of many triumphant battles, and the consumption of way too much mead. But back to uh, the topic of the day being mead. Um, I made some mead. Uh, unfortunately, because of Tom's skin condition, we had to brew non-alcoholic mead. But I feel as though we were able to properly simulate the quaffing experience of a quality flagon of mead. And in the process, did raise some of the spirits of the past in our celebration of oral transmissions. In this case, uh, of liquid from cup to mouth. From our hands to your mouth. Jane claims to have witnessed... Uh, the great god Fobinen when she consumed her mead (laughs) I sadly did not receive any visions uh, upon my consumption but I do feel uh, satisfied the validity of this claim is still up for uh, debate as far as I'm concerned well, you know, we're all there, but you know, I'm not about to question Jane. Anyway, nope, she's a good, she's a great woman. She's a level three paladin, and it's hard to come by well, those she, these days. Her so. experience with beekeeping does make her uh, one of the you know, local legends, so to speak. That's right. She does have one of the most uh, well-known beehives in the Neuromancer's Guild. Although she is prone to, uh, she is prone to illusions of some kinds. Mostly illusions of grandeur. Mostly illusions of grandeur. When, when having consumed too much yeast. So okay, <clears throat> mead or honey wine is an alcoholic beverage made from honey and water via fermentation with yeast. Its alcoholic content may range from that of a mild ale to that of a strong wine. Traditions and local recipes that may be brewed with spices, fruits, or grain mash. It may be produced by fermentation of honey with grain mash. 